hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another spot in my kitchen. I need to stop leaning on the table because it's going to shake the camera. But today I thought we'd do a study with me but switch up a little bit where I'm like really going to talk you through my study with me rather than just the time lapses, although there will be a lot of those too, I'm sure. But I thought for any like fellow university students out there or A-level students, GCSE students who have to like write essays and research and stuff, I could just share some of the things that I've learned over the last three, four years. And yeah, we could just get a bit chatty with it to kind of show you how I tackle my essays. So the essay we're going to be working on today is an event policy and regulations essay. It's due next Friday, so I've got one week. Um, and I'm very, very close to finishing it. I've got like 400 words or so to write left. Um, so obviously I've already started the research and things, but my research has kind of dried up. I've kind of used it all to write the 3,600 words. So we are gonna need to find some new research for this essay, which is why I thought I did. I would choose this one. And I also worked on it yesterday for like five hours. So <laughs> it's fresh in my mind. So I thought it'd be a good one to tackle, especially because it's the next essay that's due for me. I've got one the following week and the following week after that, but this is the first one coming up. So I've got my trusty laptop and I will be screen recording stuff too, so you can see. But I basically do everything on this laptop. I don't really use school computers very often. Um, and what I will do is usually, so like this essay didn't have a title, so obviously the first thing I do when coming to my essay is kind of brainstorm what I want my title to be. Um, and go from there. So for this essay I am doing, what am I doing, what's the official title? Racial Diversity and Social Inclusivity at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. So within that obviously that's quite a lot, you've got Racial Diversity, you've got Social Inclusivity and you've got Edinburgh Fringe Festival and then I'll go and look at the, pers what's, not perspective, what's it called? like the handbook of the course to see what they want us to do exactly. So for this one it was to critically evaluate how event policy and event regulations can potentially impact the event experience using a specific event related case study of your choice. So in my case study is Edinburgh Fringe Festival. My event policy and regulations will be to do with racial diversity and social inclusivity. So for that we've got like the Equality Act 2010 and the Scottish Government's Cultural Policy 2010, which I'll be using in my essay. And then obviously you've got the event experience, which you need to talk about. So I kind of highlight those things, like those key topic areas as a starting point for my research. So I obviously need to know about the history of Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I need to know about racial diversity at Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I need to know about racial diversity in general kind of thing. So there's loads of things you can research and what I tend to do is set up a word document for that and I'll put the headlines of those different topic areas which I want to research and copy and paste the research into those sections which I will show you. Okay so my screen recorder is going um so this is basically my document of all of my journal articles which I have copy and pasted and the bits that are either highlighted in yellow or in purple are the bits that I wanted to use that I thought were key parts that I could put into my essay and then you'll see further down these bits are red and that means that I've used them. I've also used the yellow bits at the top but I forgot to like red them out basically. Um, and all I do is copy and paste like the link of the article so that I remember to cite it in my essay. And then this is my essay. Ignore the grey highlighting of the citations. That's basically to tell me that I have put it in my reference list at the bottom. But as you can see there are a lot of blue highlighted which I haven't so I do need to do that. Um, but yeah, so in terms of this essay, I w oh, and this 3795 is how many words I've got. So in terms of this essay, I want to kind of boost up my research on the policies, so Government Cultural Policy and Equality Act, as well as the event experience. So that is the two areas that I will be researching today with you. Um, and I do all of my research on Google Scholar. So let's just grab that. I just find it's the easiest way to kind of flick between different articles and gives me access to a lot of them through my university, which is really helpful. Yeah, and then I will just start researching. So festival event experience. Yeah, and then all of these ones down the side here are ones that I have access to, so I can just start clicking through those. And what I actually do is probably gonna stress some people out by open a lot of tabs. So, 
I'm just gonna open the first three, I think. I also look at the dates to make sure like they're still relevant. So I'm gonna open that one. I'm not gonna open event studies. That seems very broad. Visitor experience, I will open the festival and the event experience. Yeah, I'll probably do that. So then as you can see, I've got all these tabs here and then I will just go through and look into these. So I will always open the PDF. And then a bit of a research hack if you're used to researching for like hours upon hours upon hours, I will control F and then find whatever niche word I'm looking for. So if I was looking for racial diversity, I would put in race, I put in racial, I put in diversity, um, just so that those things pop up. So I'm putting experience. And there's 226. And then I will be able to like just click through all of the places where it says experience, which is obviously a lot, but you can look for like a more vague word. So like, I don't know, festival. So there's 49 of those, so then I don't have to read through the whole thing, I can just skip to where it says festival, you know? So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I didn't find loads of research because like I said, I have already used quite a lot of research for the work I've already written, but I found maybe like 900 words worth of research and I'm gonna go through and highlight purple bits in it that I think are really important that I should add and then start paraphrasing that and adding it and using it to kind of spark some of my own thinking for my essay. Let's do it. I think we've done it. I've got to 3,953 words, which is like 40 words away from my goal of 4,000 words. Like that's how many you had to write, but you're allowed 10% lower or higher. So pretty good. I still need to do one last proof just to like go through and make sure everything makes sense in the order that I've put it in. But I did use that extra research that I found to kind of bump up my word count, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna proof it at some point later in the day because I need a brain break to be honest. I looked at this for far too long yesterday and today reading through it again it's going to be like a bit mind-numbingly boring because I almost know it off by heart. But we have made some very good progress and I'm very happy about it. So thank you very much for joining me on this little study with me slash tips and tricks. I have no idea how long this video is going to be because that I've filmed a lot, there's a lot of time lapses going on. But if you have made it this far, thanks very much, and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below, because I'm currently posting three videos a week. And like I said, I've got a lot of deadlines coming up, so you can expect a lot more study with me's and kind of note taking and things like that. So stick around for those, and hopefully I'll see you very soon.